all I say a prayer. Most gracious Heavenly Father, we humbly and boldly ask you to be present in our service today as we are renewing our covenant with you. We pray that as we continue to glorify you, we continue, continue to be your church just with a different name and a renewed sense of reaching out to the unchurched and also to continue to reach out and uphold each other in our church family. I ask this in your son's most, heavenly, most precious and holy name. Amen. Amen. Okay, we have a few announcements. I'm not going to go over all of them. I will touch on a few of them. Um, the luncheon is after the service today, so if anyone wants to stay at fellowship, please be there. Um, we do have child protection classes that is real important. Um, if you have a key to the church, you have to have it. Um, they really need it for BBS. Um, if you work with any youth at all, you know, it's, it's an easy class, so it takes a little bit of time out of your day. So if you could just um, uh, talk to April and sign up for the class, it would be appreciated. And speaking of BBS, they really need help. If you read in your bulletin, um, they are need of several teachers for the classes, and if they don't get enough teachers, they're going to have to cancel it. And so there's a lot of kids out there that's not going to get the Word of God that they really need. So the sign-up is, there's a phone number for the sign-up, or you can just come to the office if you want to um, come there and sign up. Uh, we have, uh, there's a basketball camp, and um, information there, contact Craig Van Gundy. And we do, it's real important, to, um, this BCMC at the bottom, because we have a new website, and you have, this is important, take it home, read it over, and sign up for that. It's in, is there any more announcements that I missed? Okay, no more announcements. Do we have any first time visitors? We have a lot of people here in the back. Would you like to get up and and introduce yourself. Gary and Charles McBride of Twin Farms. Okay, that no more. Okay. Wow. Good morning all. We've got enough folks here for this morning to start a revival. <laughs>
tithes and offerings that the ushers would come forward.
time that we're going to recognize the graduates, Ed Dixon and Pastor Brian. I invite the graduates to come up. We got a few here, the high school graduates. Check, check, Mark. I'm on black. Black. There you go. He's coming. There we go. Thank you, sir. Hey guys, welcome. Good to see you. Miss Peggy would normally be here to do this, but she's not able to be here. She had surgery, but she wanted to extend her best wishes and congratulations both to the graduates, but also to the families. And speaking of that, if there's any family would like to come up and stand with the graduates, they're welcome to come forward at this time. <laughs> that is in, and the lid of the box that says, this is top, this will help you find your way home. So that's what she's presenting to seniors from the church this year. So we appreciate you guys very much. We appreciate all that seniors go through. And uh, it doesn't stop now, but we are graduates, and we do, we do want to thank you all and tell you how much we appreciate you and congratulate you very much. John Webster with uh, one other gift. Uh, it may be heavy. We can leave it there for him. Are you going to get it? Okay, John. This is Peggy said John can fix anything. And this this speaker has been broken. I understand for some years. And so John, we have a summer project for you. If you're up to that. Please be safe. Sorry. 
Morning church. So oh. get you going, right? Okay. Anything to jazz y'all up a bit. All right, sorry. It is that time in our service where we share praises and prayer concerns. I'll start out with a praise. The Food Bridge team and closed closet raised seven hundred dollars yesterday through their yard sale. this morning. Sammy White, she's going to pray. She wants us all to pray for her today so she can make the softball team. She wants to get better and better at softball. So we can do that. Prayers here. A couple of them for Teresa Brewer. Let's pray for Teresa. She fell and fractured her tibia and fibula and she's seeing an orthopedic surgeon on Tuesday. Joyce Cox also asked that we remember Faye Taylor for health and healing. And this is Daryl Spainer? Spain Howard. That's your nephew, he's in the hospital and you also want to pray for your son, Mike Driver. Uh-oh, they're moving and taking granddaughter with them. Bittersweet. Oh. Grandma said that the family's leaving, moving out to Colorado. Just her. Or just her. Okay, just she's the one moving. Gotcha. I just pray that the angels of God protect All right. We pray the angels of God protect her. Anything else that didn't make it on paper this morning, but it's certainly on your heart? Some more helpers and that Tom Howard heals very soon. Properly and quickly, yes, ma'am. April Rismiller. Okay, having a difficult pregnancy. And I want to thank the Lord for delivering us back here after a 2,900 mile trip. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Praise God for your return. I saw you first. Let's go over here, then I'm coming back, David. We have one more trip. Danny Misty. Danny Misty. Oldest grandson, who is a great grandson, who is three, and then also 28 day, three mature baby was born while we were there. All right. 
So there's lots of babies going on there. Congratulations. And glad you're back safely. Oh, David didn't know that, Tracy. Yeah, uh, Carolyn's back started hurting her uh -oh. nerves bad this morning, so she couldn't. Carolyn's back. Okay. Yes, ma'am, Tracy. <coughs> Bobby Seymour. And Let's not forget Lee Goodnight. Lee Goodnight, he absolutely. Is, he is in really bad shape. All right, Lee's and in bad shape. And also, one of my daughter-in-laws, Karen, Karen, she she texted me this morning and tell me that her aunt that lives in Illinois has passed away. Okay, so an aunt in Illinois. Yeah. Families that are grieving. Jack, Jack and uh, our granddaughter here are gone. So just pray, pray for their safety. Family travel mercies. Okay. I'm glad y'all are back with us, by the way. Thank Welcome you. back. Anything else? Yes, sir, John. Uh oh. <laughs> Pray the Lord for a good week for everybody and safety on his motorcycle. They made it back from their crazy trip to California. <laughs> We're so glad you're back. Yes, sir, we got another one. That's right. We pray for Lynn and her family, the Summers family. Lost a sweet lady. Yes, ma'am, Loretta. Pray for my brother, Mark. He's on full-time oxygen now, trying to get circulation for his remaining good leg. All right, Loretta's brother, Mark. Good circulation. All right, seeing nothing else, let's bow our heads and pray, church. Coming before our God, who's ever ready to hear, certainly more ready than we are to pray most times. We're so thankful, God, for your attention to us today, but this is really about you. We come celebrating you and your life among us, and our life in you. So thank you, Jesus for saving us, for using us, and filling us with the Holy Spirit. And that's what gives us all these various ministries that we enjoy serving in. And we pray for more helpers with Food Bridge. We have 300 or so families a week counting on, on that team of workers. And I'm just so thankful for them. And I pray for encouragement and enthusiasm and in life uh, to fill their bodies in Jesus' name. We're so thankful you hear our prayers this morning. There are many of them, Lord, and they're varied. But I know that because we pray, it moves you to move on our behalf and bring healing and comfort and love, especially to the Summers family and all others here today who are grieving the loss of a loved one. I pray hard, Lord, for these and for the comfort and for hope. And just the, the time of grief, Lord, is hard. May we be all that we can be and present for them as needed. Thank you for the healing work you're doing among us. You heard, Lord, there are lots of back pains and body pains. We come, Lord, asking for the miracle of your touch to heal us right now where we're hurting. Come near us, journey with us when we feel isolated, alone, and afraid. Let us remember that we have your presence always with us a guard also and a guide, but also a comforter and a teacher and a healer. We call on you now, Holy Spirit of the living God, do what only you can do among us as we celebrate a new name today, Black Creek Methodist Church. 200 years old, circling back to our roots, remaining faithful to your word, and be, being sure, Lord, that we're, we're faithful with our worship in our service. So inspire us this day. Continue to work in us, move us, and give us vision, Lord. We thank you for all you're doing in the new churches that are establishing. We pray for our brothers and sisters in Christ who are having to make hard decisions. We know that you're leading and guiding them also. And we pray now in the mighty name of Jesus, the one who taught us all to pray. We pray together by saying, 
Thank Susan for putting all these together. God bless her. <laughs> it was a lot of sorting and stapling. We have a nice copy machine, but it ain't learned to do all that yet. <laughs> Lord, you have been our dwelling place in all generations. Lord, we don't enter in this covenant lightly. We come with hearts serious, Lord, and our minds laser focused to not just repeat words on the paper, Lord, but to move us in our mind, body, soul, and spirit to be more aligned with that which you want to do in our lives. We recommit this day to you and you alone, Lord, for you are the one true God, and it is our pleasure to know you and serve you. So be with us now as we renew our covenant. Find us as a church faithful to what you want to do through us. In Jesus' name, for his sake. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, you search our hearts. You see every part of us. All desires are known to you, and from you no secrets are hidden. By the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, cleanse our hearts so we may perfectly love and glorify your holy name. Pray this through Jesus Christ our Lord. All say, Amen. Amen. Now, Mr. Gayward, do you want to lead us through another hymn? Absolutely. All right. Thank you for coming to this church. Thank a lot. Page 96. I don't think this is projected. Uh, you have more time to uh, 96 in your uh, blue hymn book. Praise the Lord who reigns above. Uh, we'll stand up and back up. Dearly loved children, let us pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, Ms. Karen up to read our selected scriptures.
four scriptures, but I'm only going to be reading three. This is first, uh, 2 Kings 23, 1 through 3. Then the king called together all the elders of Judah and Jerusalem. He went up to the temple of the Lord with the people of Judah, the inhabitants of Jerusalem, the priests and the prophets, all the people from the least to the greatest. He read in their hearing all the words of the books of the covenant which was, had been found in the temple of the Lord. The king stood by the pillar and renewed the covenant in the presence of the Lord to follow the Lord and keep his commandments, statutes, and decrees with all his heart and all his soul, thus confirming the words of the covenant written in this book. Then all the people pledged themselves to the covenant. Psalms 50. The Mighty One, God the Lord, speaks and summons the earth from the rising of the sun to where it sets. From Zion, perfect in beauty, God shines forth. Our God comes and will not be silent. A fire devour, devours before him, and around him a tempest rages. He summons the heavens above and the earth that he may judge his people. Gather to me this consecrated people who made a covenant with me by sacrifice. And the heavens proclaimed his righteousness, for he is a God of justice. Listen, my people, and I will speak. I will testify against you, Israel. I am God, your God. I bring no charges against you concerning your sacrifices or concerning your burnt offerings, which are ever before me. I have no need of a bull from your stall or goats from your pens. For every animal in the forest is mine, and the cattle on a thousand hills. I know every bird in the mountains, and the insects in the fields are mine. If I were hungry, I would not tell you, for the world is mine, and all that it is in it. I do not eat flesh of bulls or drink the blood of goats. Sacrifice thanks offerings to God. Fulfill your vows to the Most High. And call on me in the day of trouble. I will deliver you, and you will honor me. But to the wicked person, God says, What right have you to recite my laws or take my covenant on your lips? You hate my instructions and cast my words behind you. When you see a thief, you join him. You throw in your lot with adulterers. You use your mouth for evil and harness your tongues to deceit. You sit and testify against your brother and slander your own mother's son. When you did these things and I kept silent, you thought I was exactly like you. But now I arraign you and set my accusations before you. Consider this, you who forgot God, for I will tear you to pieces with no one to rescue you. Those who sacrifice thanks offerings honor me, and to the blameless I will show my salvation. And the last one is John 15, 1 through 8. I am the true body, and my Father is the gardener. He cuts off every branch in me that bears no fruit, while every branch that does bear fruit he prunes so that it will be even more fruitful. You are already clean because of the word I have spoken to you. Remain in me, and I also remain in you. No branch can bear fruit by itself. It must remain in the vine. Neither can you bear fruit unless you remain in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. If you remain in me, and I in you, you will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. If you do not remain in me, you are like a branch that is thrown away and withered. Such branches are picked up, thrown into the fire, and burned. If you remain in me, and my words remain in you, ask whatever you wish, and it will be done for you. This is to my Father's glory that you bear much fruit,
showing yourselves to be my disciples. Amen. Now for our proclamation section. Dearly loved brothers and sisters, the Christian life is a life found in Christ. Redeemed from sin and consecrated to God. We are those who have entered into this life and have been admitted into the new covenant of Jesus Christ. He is the mediator of this covenant. He sealed it with his own blood so it would last forever. On one side of this covenant stands God who promises to give us new life in Jesus Christ the author and perfecter of our faith. Every day God proves His goodness and grace to us, showing us that His promise stands firm. On the other side, we stand as those who promise to no longer live for ourselves, but instead to only live for Jesus Christ because He has loved us and given His life for us. There are times in our lives when it is important for us to remember and reaffirm our promises and vows. In this same way, we come today to renew our covenant with God. Many generations have done this before us. Today we make the covenant our own, renewing with both joy and sincerity the covenant that binds us all to God. And now for the confession. We are those who seek to live as true disciples of Jesus Christ, but sometimes we fall short. Let us now examine ourselves before God, humbly confessing our sins and submitting our hearts so that we do not deceive ourselves and cut ourselves away from God. Let us pray. Father God, you have set forth the way of life through your Son, Jesus Christ, whom you love dearly. We shamefully confess that we have been slow to learn of Him and have been reluctant to follow Him. You have spoken and called to us, but we have not listened. You have revealed your beauty to us, but we have been blind. You have stretched out your hands to us through our friends, but we have passed on. We have accepted your gifts and offered little thanks. We are unworthy of your unchanging love. We now confess to you our sins. Please forgive us for the poverty of our worship, for the selfishness of our prayers, for our inconsistency and unbelief, for the ways we neglect fellowship and your grace, for our hesitation to tell others about Christ, and for the way we deceive ourselves and others. Forgive us that we have been unwilling to overcome evil with good and that we have not been ready to carry our cross. Forgive us that we have not allowed your love to work through us to help others and that we have not made their suffering our own. Forgive us for those times when instead of working for unity, we made it hard for others to live with us because of our lack of forgiveness, inconsiderate judgment, and quick criticism. Forgive us also for these sins that we silently confess to you now. For the words of assurance and pardon, God, the Father of all mercies, is faithful to cleanse us from our sins and restore us to Christ's image. Praise and glory be to God through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen.
invitation. Let us gather here before the Lord now in covenant. Commit ourselves to Christ as His servants. Let us give ourselves to Him so that we may fully belong to Him. Jesus Christ has left us with many services to be done. Some of these services are easy and honorable, but some are difficult and disgraceful. Some line up with our desires and interests. Others are contrary to both. In some, we please both Christ and ourselves, but then there are other works where we cannot please Christ except by denying ourselves. Jesus Christ, we offer you this prayer. Let me be your servant. Let me follow your commands. I will no longer follow my own desires. I give myself completely to your will. The power and strength to live as true disciples is given to us in Christ. We accept the place and work He gives us, acknowledging that He alone will be our reward. Savior to those who are His true servants. He is the source of all salvation to those who obey. To be His servant is to consent fully to His will. Christ accepts nothing less. Christ will be all in all or He will be nothing. Now confirm this truth and holy covenant. Make it a reality in your life in these three ways. First, set apart time in your day more than once to be spent alone with the Lord. Seek to perceive God's special care for you and gracious acceptance of you. Carefully think through the words of this covenant and its conditions. Examine your heart. Even if you have freely given your life to Christ, now name those sins in your life. Reflect on whether you're willing to choose Christ's holy laws and strict commands. Be sure you're clear in all of these so you do not lie to God. Second, uphold a serious spirit of holy awe and reverence. Third, claim God's covenant. Do not trust in your own strength and power, but rely upon God's promise of giving grace and strength. In this way, He will empower you to keep your promise. Fourth, be determined to be faithful. You have given your heart and life to God. You have opened your mouth to dedicate yourself to the Lord. With God's power, never go back to your former way of living. And last, be prepared to renew your covenant with God. Fall on your knees, lift up your hands, open your hearts. Let us pray together this covenant prayer. My righteous God, for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, see me now. God requires that you rid yourself of every idol in your life. From the bottom of my heart, I hear now from every idol in my life. God, I with you, God, I will not commit any of sin. I turn it against your will. I have turned my love towards the world. In your power, I will watch for any temptation that will lead me away from you. Through Jesus Christ, God offers to be your God again if you allow Him to be. Before all heaven and earth, I hear and I will acknowledge you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, as my Lord and God. I have to give all of myself, body and soul, to be your servant and to serve you in holiness and righteousness all the days of my life. Jesus Christ is the only way and means to God. God has given us Jesus as the way and means to salvation. Jesus, I hear and now accept you as the only new and living way. I join myself in covenant with you. I come to you hungry, sinful, miserable, blind, and naked, unworthy even to 
wash the feet of your servants. With all my power, I accept you as my Lord and King. Christ has told you that you must suffer with him. God has given holy laws as the rule of your life. searches and knows you, even the thoughts of your heart. Christ's holy church. 
We are incorporated into God's mighty acts of salvation and given new birth through water and the Spirit. All this is God's gift offered to us without price. Through the reaffirmation of our faith, we renew the covenant declared at our baptism. Acknowledge what God is doing for us and affirm our commitment to Christ's holy church. On behalf of the whole church, I ask you all, do you renounce the spiritual forces of wickedness, reject the evil powers of this world, and repent of your sin? I do. do you accept the freedom and power God gives you to resist evil, injustice, and oppression in whatever forms they present themselves? I do. Do you confess Jesus Christ as your Savior, put your whole trust in His grace, and promise to serve Him as your Lord in union with the church which Christ has opened to people of all ages, nations, and races? I do. According to the grace given to you, will you remain faithful members of Christ's holy church? and serve as Christ's representatives in the world. I will. Let us join together in professing the Christian faith as contained in the scriptures of the Old and New Testaments. Do you believe in God the Father? I believe in God the Father Almighty, the Creator of heaven and earth. Do you believe in Jesus Christ? I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He ascended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father and will come again to judge the living and the dead. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit? I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life of the The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Eternal Father, when nothing existed but chaos, you swept across the dark waters and brought forth light. In the days of Noah, you saved those on the ark through water. After the flood, you set in the clouds a rainbow. When you saw your people as slaves in Egypt, you led them to freedom through the sea. Their children you brought through the Jordan to the land which you promised. In the fullness of time, you sent Jesus, nurtured in the water of a womb. He was baptized by John and anointed by your spirit. He called his disciples to share in the baptism of his death and resurrection and to make disciples of all nations. Pour out your Holy Spirit by this gift of water called to our remembrance, the grace declared to us in our baptism. For you have washed away our sins and you have clothed us with righteousness throughout our lives, that dying and rising with Christ, we may share in his final victory. All praise to you, take the bowl. I'll stand here in the middle. Ushers will bring you from the front to the back. Sound good? And you just come as you come. Take a little bit of water. Make the sign of a cross on your forehead if you wish. If not, you can make a symbol of a hickdoos fish. I don't know what you might want to do. You may spend as much time as you want around the altar space praying. Makes their way and begins. Don't you all know that was a special little bit of water you had there? That was straight from the Jordan River. Now, you may have noticed a little mud. That was just mud from the river in the bottom. <laughs> <laughs>
after all that, I think it's time to get crazy in the house a little bit. Please stand as we close to this service with great earth. House of the Lord, and then crazy people. Jesus. 